woman fainted at 10,000 meters. The next second, her body began to slide down. Although the woman instantly woke up, but everything is too late. Until the woman opened her eyes, she realized that she was hanging upside down in the air at a height of 10,000 meters. She rushed to instinctively grab the rope, desperately to the basket of companions to ask for help. James! However, the man had long since fallen into a coma due to lack of oxygen and was unable to offer any help. The woman knew that she could only rely on herself now, so she began to swing her legs a little closer to the hanging basket, and then by the force of inertia, she finally reached the edge of the basket, and with all her strength finally tumbled in. But at this point, her companion was already dying, and she had to be rescued as soon as possible. But by now, the balloon was already flying higher and higher. The surface of the balloon is also covered with ice crystals. At this moment, the exhaust valve is also frouncing, cannot be opened properly, which also means that if not deflated as soon as possible, the balloon will continue to rise until it explodes. So the woman made a bold decision. She is going to take the risk of climbing to the top of the balloon in person to carry out artificial deflation. With rich experience, the woman quickly climbed to the edge of the balloon. But next, she had to face the frosty surface of the balloon. And the woman's hands have been frostbitten. As long as not careful will fall. Just when she was going to grab a side of the lanyard, the accident occurred. And the woman, because of the lack of oxygen, to be in the 10,000 meter to high air to fall into a deep sleep. But then she saw the basket and thought of her dying companion inside. The woman instantly came to her senses. She then adjusted her body as best she could to regain her grip on the rope. And after struggling desperately to get her body righted, she tied the rope around her waist to prevent her from falling. And she once again climbed up on the surface of the balloon, which was still rising in altitude. The time left for her to reach the top was running out. After all the painstaking woman finally climbed to the top of the balloon, but just when she thought she could open the valve to be saved, she only to find that the valve on the ice is too thick. Even by the elbow impact is useless. The woman is also a little bit at a loss, but the thought of companions, she then made a bold decision. She stood up at this 10,000 meters high altitude and then stepped on the valve with one foot, although she was almost blown down by the airflow, but finally opened the valve. In order to prevent the valve from freezing up again, the woman also left her shoes on it and waited for the woman to return to the hanging basket, and the balloon began to slowly descend, and her unconscious companion woke up at that time. But not waiting for the two to be happy for a long time, the woman suddenly found that the snowflake descending speed is getting slower and slower and even began to fly upwards. The woman immediately understood that it was the hot air balloon they were riding on that was falling at a rapid pace and the speed was much faster than the snowflake's descending speed. She hastened to pull on the exhaust valve's rope, wanting to shake off her shoes that were stuck on it to slow down the balloon's descending speed, but accidentally exerting too much force. And at once, she yanked the air valve open completely and accelerating the speed of the balloon's descent. If they fell down like this, the two of them would surely turn into a puddle of mush, and now they could only reduce the load as much as possible. So they threw the things in the hanging basket outward, and even took off and threw away their clothes. But this did not slow down the speed of the balloon's descent in the slightest. The two were about to be dropped to their deaths, but the man looked at the basket at his feet and had a bold idea in mind. He first had the woman climb up to the iron mean above her, and then pulled out a dagger as she was going to cut the heaviest basket. As the ropes were cut one by one, the basket was finally free from the balloon, but due to the horror of the situation, the balloon's descent didn't slow down. Seeing that the two are going to die, the woman suddenly stood up to the iron mate because she intends to jump down to sacrifice herself to reduce the weight. For the man who is a scientist for life, watching the woman is about to sacrifice herself. The man thought of something, he shouted to live together, to die together, and then he used a knife to cut off the rope that fixes the balloon. The balloon instantly turned into a parachute. They began a slow descent, and although the landing was impossibly smooth, that had been fearless. It wasn't until nightfall that the woman woke up from her stupor, but she couldn't care less about the pain in her body, as she desperately tried to ascertain the condition of her man, who luckily was unharmed, and the two embraced in an emotional hug in celebration of this return from the dead.